Hello everyone and welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. Uh, I have a simple little problem, an equation with mixed operations, um, just addition and multiplication. So it's it's fairly simple. Um, hopefully it's a, a no-brainer for everyone here. It's 2 plus 2 times 4 equals what? Um, and I see a lot of people who will answer this as 16. Uh, I'll tell you right off the bat that's incorrect. Uh, so I guess I just spoiled it, but um, try to figure this one out on your own, and we'll solve it together, as always. And you can pause the video if you like. All right, well, that was quick. Um, again, this is a pretty easy one, really, um, but I have seen a lot of wrong answers. But uh, you got to remember that multiplication has precedence over addition. Uh, multiplication is just shorthand for repeated addition. Um, and you can actually show that by replacing the multiplication with equivalent addition. And you get the same, uh, you get the correct answer of 10. So if you replace 2 times 4, 2 times 4 is the same thing as 4 plus 4. So 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 plus 4 is 10. So uh, yeah, that's the correct answer. Um, so the order of operations convention also applies here. We have mixed operations. Whenever you've got addition and multiplication or division and subtraction, division and multiplication, addition, so any combination of those, um, you're going to need to remember the order of operations. So um, with, with that, you know, your multiplication always has precedence. Uh, so you're actually needing to do, you need to do the 2 times 4 first. 2 times 4 is 8, and then 2 plus 8 is 10. So remember, you know, the order of operations is also known by, uh, and I've covered this in other videos, covered by, you know, several different acronyms depending on where you live in the world, like PEMDAS, BODMAS, BEDMAS, or BIDMAS. Um, they all represent the same four steps of the order of operations, just with, just with slightly different names in the acronyms. That's the only difference. Um, you have per, uh, number one, you have parentheses that you would solve or brackets in the case of BODMAS, BEDMAS, or BIDMAS, they were referred to as brackets uh, rather than parentheses. Uh, but if you don't have any, you just go to the next step and you look for uh, exponents. So this also includes like square roots. But um, in other acronyms, like in the UK where you have BODMAS, uh, they'll refer to that as orders or I believe powers of. Uh, is another way that they refer to exponents. And then also with something like BIDMAS, you would refer to those as indices. Um, now, number three, uh, this is where we start to throw some people off. They forget um, how the acronyms work. But multiplication and division actually are just solved left to right. Uh, multiplication and division have equal precedence. Uh, division is the same thing as multiplying by a reciprocal. Uh, so yeah, they're just you just work them left to right, uh, no matter. Um, and then number four, addition and subtraction left to right. Again, addition and subtraction have equal precedence, so they're solved left to right. Uh, we don't have any subtraction in here to confuse it, but uh, again, just think of subtraction as adding a negative number. So there's really no difference there. Um, and like I said before, the most common incorrect answer is 16. Many will. Uh, mistakenly think that you add 2 plus 2 and then you multiply that result by 4, um, but that's incorrect. And it's also not true that mathematics was solved differently back, you know, in some earlier time back in the 1930s, 40s, whatever decade you want to choose. Um, uh, the order of operations is very old and there's no textbooks that have been written uh, that, that teach it any differently than that. So, uh, yeah, I hope that's been helpful. Um, and uh, please stick around and check out some of the other videos. And uh, I do hope to catch everybody in the next video. Have a great day.